Adventures all around you just have to look right before your eyes. Look, it's a book. Hello, my book buddies. It's Miss Heather, ready to go on another exciting, wonderful, stupendous reading adventure with you. <laughs> I love our reading adventures and I loved getting to meet some of you in person at our reading in the park this last Saturday. So I hope to see so many more of you next month when we do it again. Don't worry, I'll make sure that you know about it ahead of time. Remember, it's the fourth Saturday of every month in the Oakhurst Park at 9 a.m. Mm, so exciting. Oh, but as always, I have sugar with me here today, sugar. I am just loving it. The weather is getting warmer. I'm getting excited for summer. Are you so excited? I think she's excited. I have Sugar and Bartholomew and Rainbow along with my other reading friends. And don't forget that I post a video every Wednesday. So make sure to go down and hit that big thumbs up and click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our reading adventures that we go on together. But uh, feeling a little silly today. It was just so much fun on Saturday and summer's getting close by, so we definitely have some sillies to shake out today. And so we're gonna start off in slow motion, sillies. We're gonna shake our hands slowly and then we're gonna get faster and 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 faster Oh, 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 and then our whole body's in slow motion till we get faster and faster and faster and faster and faster, oh, buddies! Oh, that was kind of fun. <laughs> I like that. Thank you for joining Yum. me today. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Crunch, 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 crunch. Do you hear that? Mmm. Crunch, 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 Oh, crunch. those are yummy yum, sounds. Yum. Crunch, crunch, sounds crunch, like crunch. Sounds like something's yum. eating something, mm. huh? Maybe crunch, eating something crunch, crunch. yummy. Yum, yum. Hmm. I don't have anything here to eat. Should we check inside our treasure chest? All right, you count with me. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Look, it's a book. Oh, I love this book. And this definitely has to do with eating. This is called Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin, illustrated by Daniel Salmieri. Oh, I, if you've never read this book, this is a fun book. I am so excited to share it with you. So if you have your reading buddies with you, I'm ready to go on an adventure. Let's go together. Dragons love tacos. Oh, look at all the tacos. Now I'm getting hungry. Dragons love tacos. Do you think dragons love tacos? We're gonna find out, aren't we? Hey kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big, gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. So this boy and his dog are talking to us and I think he likes dragons because there's dragon things everywhere. And he says dragons love tacos. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? Why do you think they love tacos so much? Look, he's coming from the taco cave with his bag of tacos. Stirring up all the stuff. Ooh, it's making me hungry. But wait, as much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. <gasps> so here's all the spicy. It says, no spicy salsa, a guide to dragon cuisine. Ooh, this is way too hot and hot. So we can't have any spicy salsa. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? 
Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ear smoke. Oh, have you ever had smoke come out of your ears if something was too spicy? I hope not. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. <laughs> spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy, Ooh, I wouldn't want to do that. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes, lettuce, cheese. These are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. He's giving a thumbs up. I like tomatoes, lettuce, and cheese on my tacos. What do you like on your tacos? Let's see. Hey, dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? Oh, look, he says I have a tummy ache. His little tongue's out. Mm, it doesn't feel good. Poor dragon. Dragons love parties. They like costume parties. <gasps> look, they're all dressed up. He's a wizard, a pirate, and Superman. And pool parties. Oh, they're playing in the swimming pool. They like big, gigantic parties with accordions and tiny little parties with charades. Oh, they're playing all sorts of things. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. That's one of my favorite things about parties is good friends and laughter. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. Well, that makes sense. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos, pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? <gasps> he looks so excited and look, he circled the date on his calendar, taco party. Oh, so excited. And look at all the tacos, a boat load of tacos for the taco party. Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. There he is, He's burying all the spicy salsa. His house is filled with tacos. And all the dragons are arriving. Look, you can see them all flying. Arriving for the taco party. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the decorations. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations. Oh, so fun. Look, at they're eating all the tacos. He looks so happy. This one's even giving him a kiss. This one has a shirt that says, I love tacos. What a fun party. It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy. Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print? So it says totally mild salsa. Now with spicy jalapeno peppers. <gasps> jalapeno peppers are a green pepper that's really, really spicy. <gasps> oh no, and the dragons are eating the tacos with it? <gasps> Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa, those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not going to love those tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh no. Too late. What's happening? They're all breathing fire. Everything's on fire. The salsa's on fire. The tacos are on fire. Oh no, the boy and his dog are hiding. Everything is on fire. <gasps> they burned the house down. Oh no, everything's smoking. Oh, even he has smoke coming out of his nose. What are they going to do? Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? They're helping him rebuild. Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. <laughs> so they're taking breaks to eat tacos, but look, they're helping him rebuild his house because it burned down. 
Oh, and he says, look over there. Put the wood there. After all, dragons love tacos. Oh, he threw it up. The dragon's going to catch it. The end. Oh, look at all those tacos. I want to eat them all up. <laughs> what a fun story. Do you love tacos? What's your favorite thing to eat? I do like tacos, but I think spaghetti is one of my favorite things to eat. Mm, yummy, 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 yummy. Oh, thank you so much for going on this reading adventure with me. I just love it when we get together and have these adventures. And I hope to see you again next time. Remember that you are special. I like you and you should like you too. Now go out and go on your own adventure. You don't have to look far. Just open a book. Bye, my friends.